Hello everyone. Another reason uh, that so we the reason we we put the cameras we don't remove. As I'm just suggesting that we don't remove the cameras from the tripod. It saves space, uh, time, a lot time. I used to observe that if nobody comes as volunteers on Friday night, Friday afternoon, I just observe Sir Gerald. If he does everything by himself, he comes at five. One time I came just to observe. He sets up the camera one hour. He sets up the live stream and the audio and the microphones for one hour. That's why I started coming before he came. Because he has to do a lot of work. And he is, you know, he is more old than us. And we can expect he, he has more, he has more, uh, it is harder for old people, older people to exert that amount of effort and camera work is not easy big cameras big tripods and it, PIC is big you have to walk a lot yeah if you forget something a simple connector a simple wire simple you have to walk a lot at least long so we tried to we used to put the tripods and then put the cameras and then put the connectors and then put everything that else you forgot the the power, the converter, the tally, the combs, etc. So how many times are you going to walk to the camera place from the from the tindahan or from the AV booth or from the stock room? And if sometimes you're looking for you don't know where it is. So multiply that by four cameras and. <clears throat> five cameras multiply it with that so it takes a long time to set up so what, what I tried to do <clears throat> is to put the cameras in the box so that as much as possible there's only one uh, to reduce the number of times you have to walk to the camera place and to the stock room uh, or to the to the I know to the AV booth because they used to store all the we used to store all the converters in the AV booth and we used to store all the cameras in the stock room and the tripods so you have to how many stops do you have to make you have to go to the stock room get converters in the, in the if you remember because it's that way sometimes you f install the camera first and then you come back to the AV booth to get so it's a long way going back and then how many cameras four cameras five cameras so what we, I tried to do is to put a box by guess grace I found boxes that exactly fit the cabinet so I put the camera there uh, we Sir General, I think fixed the converter so we don't have to reattach the converter and we also reduced the number of power uh, power banks no no power chargers 5 volt chargers USB chargers that we plug because we just use the camera uh, camera USB out <coughs> which you, we used not to use but I just tried to plug it in to avoid putting uh, power banks on the camera so that there is less weight and there is less uh, charging of cameras and forgetting the power banks etc and uh, less hassle of batteries <coughs> so when, if, you, if you put it in the box as you see now or before it's in a box so Everything that is supposed to come with the camera is supposed to be in the box. The power supply, the tally, the converter, and the tally cable and the converter uh, HDMI. But the HDMI doesn't, the HDMI behind the camera doesn't fit in the box. Or if you fit it, it you are going to damage the, or put pressure on the port. So we have to remove it. And and every connector has a, only a number of. <laughs> times that you can plug in and plug it before the average life of the connector uh, the connector dies or gets shorted or gets this uh, malformed so <clears throat> every time you plug in and plug something a connector a usb an hdmi cable a micro hdmi cable a mini hdmi cable you are reducing the lifetime of the connector and uh, sir doy knows that he's an electronics guy and uh, most there are many times you have to replace the connector because of wear and tear 
if we can reduce the plug and unplug we can reduce the wear and tear and we can have the cameras uh, life you know in Pasay they have big HDMI cables and they don't know how to loop the HDMI cables onto the camera handle first before plugging it to the <coughs> to the camera and their HDMI's are loose <laughs> I forgot to tell them that they should loop the cameras and measure the HDMI cables and put allowance so that they can loop it around the handle so that the connector doesn't take the pressure from the pulling of the HDMI which they uh, amazingly they pull from the second floor going down it's hanging so uh, incidentally their cameras were stolen because they left the cameras there after the service and during the lunch break or before the lunch break somebody took them and left the tripod so they lost two they lost one uh, AC I think it was I forgot if it was AC 30 or or I know or uh, AC 90 I'm not sure <coughs> but I'm the one also who recommended that camera to them and sadly they lost one I think it was AC 30 because one time I was I went there with my with my own camera and they were looking at my camera. I said this is I know you lost a camera and then this is not the one you <laughs> Okay. So uh, but I I volunteered for Hope Channel in Dog Bachelor's Crusade, volunteered for HCBN in uh, Dog Bachelor's Crusade. No 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 it was HCBN volunteered for uh, Hope Channel two weeks Ted Wilson's Crusade. I think also hope when the bachelor was there also sometimes I go there but Ted Wilson to excuse in PICC hope channel has more cameras than people so if they know you and you like to help they allow you to help if you are friends with them <coughs> uh, also I was uh, I bought my own I I was uh, audio guy in Ang Capitolo Versiculo for like almost three years the original capital of Bersikulo also bought my most, expen most expensive camera for that ministry and it's still there with them until now and you know what the problem with these AC90s like the cameras we used to have here in PIC the problem is not the connector because we know how to take care of the connector most of the problems of the cameras is not even the sensor the sensor looks old but in that time it's nice the problem with the with the cameras the ac 90s of sm here in pic there are two and the ac 90s of uh pagarala natin they have three one is mine two is donated from japan the common problem that we meet is the lens uh, the lens zooms in zooms out by itself but sir Sherwin told me they fixed one of the ac 90s and PIC by just spraying uh, <clears throat> of course you have to open it and look for the potentiometer for the rocker arm a uh, zoom zoom rocker arm and spray the potentiometer with a uh, slider switch with cleaner so I bought cleaner and tried to spray I took the, my own camera which uh, which Koya Johnson's tech guy Herb Stonyakow said it was zooming in by itself so I took it from uh, Koya Johnson and tried to fix it there, opened it, watched a video. And then it, it, I sprayed with the uh, contact cleaner, the potentiometer for the zoom rocker, <coughs> uh, rocker zoom. And it, it's working now. So I returned it there. And then they sent also the other AC90, which was donated from, to them by Japan, by Japan uh, Filipinos and I also fix it so we fix already Servin fixed uh, he said he fixed one AC90 and I fixed two AC90s the problem is the zoom I also fixed my D D DVX200 the problem is I opened the lens and the problem is the IR filter fell off so we just <coughs> opened the lens and uh, it's, it's like 50 screws and that camera is like 230,000 pesos so it's very s stressful to open such an expensive camera uh, so and return the, uh, no, the IR filter 
I also tried to open the IAS camera. I got permission from the president himself, the president, Dr. Guptil himself. He did not know that one of the cameras was broken and the tech guy, Sir Arnold uh, Ledesma, <coughs> was afraid to open the camera and was because he is afraid of his boss, but I'm not afraid because they are not my boss. And I asked him if they can allow me to try to fix the camera since it's broken. If I break it, it's still broken. That was my, that's the logic. So I tried to fix it, but I didn't have enough time and it, uh, didn't, it didn't work because I think I did not solder properly because of lack of time. I was in a hurry to close up the camera because they want to go home. <coughs> immediately so it takes a lot of time especially if you do it the first time you do it you have to be very careful and very you know watch many videos and research many tips and so on so one of the reasons <coughs> uh, I am one of the reasons uh, another reason we want to keep the tripods uh, the cameras an advantage of keeping the tri cameras on the tripods is the tripods some of the tripods in PIC are not very quick release. You know, I was sitting with ABS-CBN, beside ABS-CBN people last week in the security conference. I was looking at their cameras. They just have to twist one and then tumba the big, big cameras that's almost this big, almost two feet long cameras. Isang ganyan lang, isang ikot lang. Just twist something and then they can remove the big cameras. Somebody else can carry the tripod by, by themselves so in PIC it takes you five minutes to remove because of the the slide the, it's supposed to be quick release but it doesn't release quickly it's like you're going to almost to destroy the camera every time you remove the camera from the tripod same thing with returning the cam with the mounting the camera on the tripod it's not easy and it's not quick and I think there is stress in the camera body depending on how you hold it and you might drop it etc so for, for one more thing so you have to plug and unplug HDMI if you remove the camera you have to plug and unplug power one more thing we used to have many uh, dying ports in the switch and in the converters until, because uh, masyadong masipag, we want to make things, uh, improve things, and rearrange things. Every time we rearrange and clean, one port dies. And you know, the switches, like every port is like worth 10,000 peso. Every SDI, every SDI port is like worth 10,000 peso because the switch is 50,000 and then the, yeah, and so on. So, so many converters died and then we found this article where it says the article published by red the one who makes the cinema cameras they said i found i found there that they you should plug in the power first before the signal cable so since we copy and pasted that one and published it and told everyone to plug in power first we don't have any any or rare na lang yung that the <coughs> the SDI and the SDMI ports die <coughs> so so the more you plug and unplug the camera there is the higher possibility that you will unplug and unplug it in the wrong sequence and destroy the uh, and cause static damage the explanation my understanding is the explanation is that if you first plug in the signal and you're walking around you develop static uh, potential difference with the ground with the floor because you're wearing shoes and you're walking around and air and water etc and air so you're walking around and you have static dis difference with the ground and you're holding a connector if you try to connect it to the camera there is a possibility that the first thing that sparks is not the ground but is the is the signal cable inside <coughs> So red recommends that you plug in the power first before plugging in the signal. The, I think the logic for that engineers were saying, if you plug in the power cable first, the power electronics are less susceptible to static damage because they're not complicated, they're just ca capacitors and uh, regulators and back converters. 
so you plug in the power first and when you plug in the power first <coughs> any static difference that is with the ground goes down instead of thousands of volts goes down to uh, minimum is 220 if it's broken if the power supply is broken 220 if it's not broken it should be not greater than because it's connected already to power so anything that is not thousands of volts anymore when you connect the power it goes down when you connect the connectors you don't have potential difference of thousands of volts to create <coughs> a spark and destroy the sensitive uh, microelectronics that works with signals right they are more sensitive because the signals are smaller so the more you remove and add uh, remove and unplug the camera the more higher possibility you will remove it and out of sequence <coughs> yeah so one more thing if you don't remove the camera from the tripod so you don't have to remove the power and the HDMI because you don't have to fit it in the box if you don't remove the, H the HDMI cord to the connector the connector or uh, the converter the converter is also plugged into USB power of the camera so there is no there is almost no chance that you will have potential difference between the converter and the HDMI and the camera HDMI because the, the converters uh, power is connected to the camera's power <coughs> diba? so one more thing it's a hole the camera is bigger and the base is grounded to the uh, no, to the tripod so there is less and you, the tripod is metal and there is less potential difference that you will ha hold the camera while before holding the tripod and making the camera spark on you but be pr because probably you will be holding the tripod first and get discharged on the tripod first before you hold the camera right so if you carry the camera separately okay you see that the possibility of potential difference but the biggest possibility is running out of energy and attitude how uh, if you want to record Sabbath morning and Sabbath afternoon if there is AY and sundown if there is AY and then Monday morning if the academy wants Monday night if ADC has worship Wednesday night midweek and then Friday morning chapel period and then Friday night Vesper so how many programs do you have if you add it, so uh, let's start with uh, Monday Academy Monday night ADC Wednesday uh, midweek Friday morning uh, chapel Friday night <coughs> Uh, Vesper and then Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon and uh, sundown if you want to f fill the internet with if you want to fill the internet with Adventist messages instead of just staying at in your house watching YouTube and videos and uh, useless things and you have nothing else to do if you do mean the ministry and you want to put all the sermons that happen in PIC in the internet so that maybe one soul will be rich heaven will reach heaven because of one video and so on so the more videos you put the more souls I have many other video I have many other media ministries that have applied baptized thousands and hundreds of souls that's why I am I like to put as many Adventist sermons in the internet and here in AUP we have a lot of uh, opportunity and equipment also <clears throat> so uh, actually our equipment is idle like 95 90% of the time because people get tired the equipment doesn't get tired the operators get tired the pictures get tired but the equipment doesn't get tired the only thing that gets tired is the zoom that's why 
when I'm using my own cameras, I avoid telling people to zoom in and zoom out because all of the AC90s that we opened are lens problems and uh, focus problems. Even the camera in the the, the camera in IS is a focus problem. The two cameras, expensive, nice cameras in HCB and his coming broadcasting network, is also focus problem. They have the same thickness, the same lens. So it is the lens that wears off because you like to zoom in and zoom out while singing. It that costs. That is what it costs. Anyway, <coughs> yeah. So if you want to, let's go back to the topic. If you want to record eight, uh, produce eight uh, productions per week in one venue, and you want to unplug and unplug the cables and the tripods eight times times four cameras you see how much labor that costs and we don't we, we are all volunteers in PIC you don't have two hours every program just to plug and unplug everything right you have two hours before the program to unplug and unplug everything one hour if you are if it's boxed but because of the bigness of PIC you have to walk a long distance so do we do we have time to you have time and energy to set up one hour, two hours before the program. We are volunteers and nobody is forcing us to do that. And since nobody comes early, I have to come early and take the opportunity of doing that. But I want also that I will not run out of energy and attitude and get uh, irritable and annoying and uh, negative about doing media ministry and tired. So. To preserve the 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 I know the energy, we want to minimize unnecessary uh, work, or we want to make our work uh, is easier. So the concern is security. <clears throat> In Hope Channel, we don't have uh, we we don't remove the cameras from the tripods. When I come there, they just show the cameras, remove the cover. The cover is just a cloth. It doesn't even protect from accidental holes on the ceiling when it rains. Maybe they should put plastic. But plastic, when you move plastic, it generates static electricity. So there is a risk also. Maybe they put carton like what we did. So this carton doesn't uh, spark, doesn't generate static electricity when waved in the air. air. <coughs> Maybe. And it has a little bit of... Uh, uh, falling resistance if something hard falls the carton will reduce the impact a little bit of water resistance also but at least not static anyway hope channel uses only cloth which has only dust resistance yeah they only protect from dust <coughs> and static <coughs> and at least it doesn't generate static and sometimes hope channel we, they come to we rented hope channel for free in PYC for three days four days in uh, in IIRR in Gavite, they came with their truck and all their equipment, and they did not even the the venue is not locked, and they do not remove the tripod, the cameras in the tripod. So I was in charge of all the videos, and I was stressed because they don't remove their 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 cameras their from the tripods at night, and their cameras are so expensive. I looked up the lenses <coughs> aside from the camera. You have to buy a lens, and the lens is like three hundred thousand each. So I was so stressed because they don't remove. I I slept under the cameras. <laughs> I slept under the cameras because I cannot sleep in my room if nobody is watching the camera. Anyway, but what we the idea now that we have is uh, that we God gave us is to put the elect my motorcycle lock on the tripod because you can beat beat the camera and put it in the in your bag but the, if it is locked with a motorcycle lock on the tripod <coughs> how can you get that you have to get the whole thing and you cannot get it um, anyway aside from the motorcycle lock the stock room should be locked and it's double locked and there's cctv in the pic and there's another the whole venue is locked uh, these days they lock it because when pastor estevez came he tried to lock to tell the workers to lock the pic because I think uh, somebody reported that 
when we are tired and we don't want to <clears throat> sometimes we set up on a Friday and then uh, to save our uh, energy for the volunteers I tell them not to pack up the cameras and the equipment instead I'm going to sleep in PIC because I'm lazy to take down and reset up take down tonight and reset up tomorrow the same thing so it's I just sleep in PIC in the bench so when they found maybe somebody reported that I'm doing that to save time with the volunteers and set up time so these days they lock the whole church anyway Pastor Esteves <coughs> was the president of Nagaview I, d I lent four cameras and the switcher to Nagaview to start the media ministry there and it's still there and one time I went there it's it's open because I am from Nagaview I grew up there I know where to get in how to get inside the auditorium even if it's locked so but when I came there last time they closed all the holes <laughs> the auditorium so i could not get in without a key i went there to i, I grew up there in nagabi so i know where the holes are so but they fixed it uh in general frias and the pastor when i reported it's open because i already went inside before they woke up they locked the they tried to fix all the locks so he he's he, uh, i think the pastor in PIC now is trying to lock all the things in PIC so <clears throat> that is uh, some of my suggestions with the media ministry we hope that we can record as many even the college congregations and so on if they are not yet ready to have cameras for the congregations and so on we can just use our webcams and cell phones maybe and publish it somewhere uh, you know so that we can put as many sermons of adventists in YouTube and in Facebook that is the goal this equipment are just uh, tools uh, okay thank you for listening have a nice day